one politician that his defection will P to PDP will bring APC down. The PDP should be busy looking for ways to reclaim what the party lost some years ago. The party needs to make some strong and powerful politicians defect to PDP in order to rise again as expected by the, the stalwart of the party. The 2023 presidential election is fast approaching and the party is greatly lagging behind many mainly because of the fact that some people have dumped the party for the ruling party the pdp should target a politicians and politician in the apc also for them to know how the ruling party can be defeated as well nothing is impossible the pdp was once most the most powerful party in the country but now powerless it was when some political juggernauts left the party when some in the year 2015 that the PDP was ruined completely. Atiku Abubakar, Bukola, Saraki, Rotimi, Amechi were those people that crossed the APC to the APC because they are not in line with the government of the former president, Good Luck Ebele, Jonathan. And they thought that the way they could solve it was to defect to the newly formed APC. If not for their defections, PDP might be the one ruling till now. Now that another golden opportunity for the opposition party to snatch power from the ruling party has come, the PDP should target Comrade Adams Oshomole. Oshomole would be a factor that can dwindle the rate at which the power of the APC is spreading. He was once a former chairman of the party and he knows how things are being carried out in the party. He would help the PDP to know the intentions of those political stalwarts in APC. Oshomle doesn't have any reason to stay in the APC anymore for he doesn't have any relevancies again in the party. No one has regards for him as far as national level politics is concerned. Governor Yin Sumwike from River State and Prince Uche Secondus should meet Adams Oshomole to know about his plans and should be he should be convinced to come to the PDP. First of all, if Nigerians are rational in their thinking and all that, they would not even consider APC or PDP because they're basically one party. It just depends. Basically, they're a group of people who would use either either party as as uh, as a as the opening up their options to so open up their options as to who is the ruling party because they defect all the time so what is the difference between apc and pdp nothing we basically have one party in the country and that party literally filters out the same basket of politicians left and right and that's just what we have so again in 2023 we should go for something absolutely new or if you wanted to go for something old we have to hold them accountable like put them under some sort of different oath because i i mean i don't think the oath that they take or they swear before they get into office is, is as effective or they even respect it because again accountability is the main issue there is no need for us to separate there's no need for all that when um we hold people accountable and if they're not willing to do that maybe the country needs to separate 2023 we need to know what we want again as to them it's fast approaching to them and to nigerians are we planning are we planning on how we're gonna you know get more registration for pvcs are we planning how we're gonna um who are our candidates are gonna be someone says in terms of politics oshomole does not have equal in the in the whole of a dot state a great man who's modernized politics in the whole nigeria you can't you can't only hate him but cannot one cannot him what one of the best candidates for presidency absolutely not <laughs> Someone here says, person that has no regards, what role will he play? They are the ones that push, that put us in this suffering that we're facing. Absolutely. So again, if you want to put these same people in government, that is absolutely your own prerogative. But the fact remains that it will have to be justified and they will have to prove to us that they actually won the vote if 2023 or when 2023 comes or else I don't even think there'll be any election. Let's even, let's, let's even try that. Someone says, if Oshawa tried it, the next 24 hours... He will be a guest of the EFCC in Abuja. He knows that. He was caught in his own net. Remember when he was APC chairman? But the thing is, remember when, remember when, again, if he's on the right team that will push his career forward, I don't think even Nigerians themselves will not even remember. That's the thing. Again, it's more, it's very it's sad because it's like we're very confident that, you know what, certain things wouldn't happen and some things will not repeat themselves. But the fact is, this same country that voted for Buhari the second time, or well, not everybody, but 
you know for the ones who actually the physical you know the physical actual voters that voted for barry for the second time also still supported him even after he was evidently as bad as he was you cannot be surprised that they another kind of madness would continue it's not surprising another comment here says meet him for what again it's like apc and pdp what's the competition about like there is no like they're literally the same people literally this there's basically one party and the two parties are just there to pretend to us as if there's some sort of competition or division when really it's a monopoly when really they're the only like apc and pdp are just a faction of the same thing Again, the politicians there just exercise their options as to what is going, who is going to win, and then they defect. That's how it works. Someone said Oshomona is still a, f a key figure in APC. So again, isn't the camping actually? It might not be legal, but then it's like, is, is it ethical? Oh, well, that's a, a whole other question. Um, ethics and Nigeria, like they are like parallel lines. Uh, someone here says they should all. That should be done without delay. After all, attack is the best defense. We're not supporting personally to me. I feel like Nigerians should not even look in the direction of APC and PDP and whoever was associated or who was representing them in the past. We will forget all of them. But then again, look at the country that we live in. That would be an absolute fairy tale, but it's unrealistic. Someone says enough of politics of personality. What we need is issues based politics. Our politicians are just moving from b to a no ideology to bad true um again it's i don't know what's wrong with it mm -mm. again the young generation are here to lead things but then obviously with the nigeria is very ageist i would say that very very ageist so it's like again if these old people are still in power i mean again how their greed and their you know their their they need i don't even know why they don't want to leave it alone and the fact is technically the, the corruption that you see you see what i think what's going on in nigeria is unintelligent corruption because honestly the potential the probability of them to be corrupt when things are more developed requires that they'd have to be very much skillful in hiding everything also it means that um they be skillful in hiding everything but that means that if the economy is better there's more to steal from rather than stealing from money that does that does not exist and that would have to pay for like come on we have skills and it's just even the economy of the country the economists and the kind of decision that they make printing money all that again they have chose that they're, they're not capable of anything it's absolutely sad but it is what it is put what you think in the comment section below and do not forget to like and subscribe